guys, today I'm filming my next update in my Partners in Cream Project Pan collab. This collab was started by Steph Lyons and Dylan. I will have their channels linked down below. I will also have the collective playlist for this project and the Google Doc that has everybody's YouTube and Instagram that is participating. This is a huge project and I would love to know if you guys are doing it as well in the comments down below. I am very excited to watch everyone's videos and if you guys have been following along with my updates and I will have my personal playlist linked in the cards, you will see that I'm doing this different than other people. I'm not trying to hit pan. I'm not trying to use things up. I'm trying to get use out of my products. I did a couple months ago film a cream product collection video, which I will link in the cards and I have a really big collection and a lot of those things do go unused. So for me, I'm using this project as like a project pan and chopping block in one. So I do have some goals for products, but they're not really intense goals. It's just usage so I can decide whether I want to keep it or not. So we will start by talking about the things I had added in last month and I will tell you this was not a good month for me. I made decisions on products but I didn't use them as much as I wanted to so that is definitely a shame. But the first thing I had used was a liquid shadow and this is the Pixie Liquid Fairy Light in the shade Bare Brilliance. I did wear this in my update video last month and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it but I think it looked beautiful on camera and I don't have a color like this in my collection and it is a really nice formula so I will be holding on to this one and I did wear this one three times which was my goal. Then I had some ColourPop Super Shocks. This first one is Cricut. It's a metallic finish and this looks very pretty in the pan but it is so dull looking in a swatch. It's very dull on the eye. It just has like a murky dirty base. I don't like the way this one looks on me and it is a little bit dried out so I am going to be getting rid of that one. I only used it once but that was really all I needed to decide. I don't want to hold on to it anymore. Then I did have my three more burgundy eyeshadows that I wanted to put in here to compare to see which one I wanted to keep. So the first one is something I had in last month and that would be the color Static. It is a pearlized finish and this one is feeling a little bit wet and gummy but it's still easy enough to work with. So here is what this one looks like and this I am going to be keeping. I don't usually go with very dark shades but I do from time to time and this is a really pretty one so I do want to hold on to that. And I was comparing it to Porter. This is also metallic finish and this one is so dried out. It feels like a flaky powder base with some glitter pieces in it. I like the color but just no, it is completely dried out so that made it an easy decision. And then I had my other color Drift which I told you guys this is now a satin finish, it used to be a pearlized, I don't know why they would change that but it has completely fallen apart like into several pieces and this one is really not that old so I was very bummed by that and I'm trying to swatch it right now but it is completely making a mess everywhere, oh no. I'm getting pieces all over. So yeah, this one's completely broken as well. So that also made it easy for me to get rid of it. But here's what this one looks like. It is very beautiful. I am really bummed it's a satin finish now. I wish it was more shimmery because out of the three, that one is my favorite because it is the brightest and the lightest. So I do love the color, but I'm not interested in it now that they have changed the finish. So I used each of these only once and I wanted to use them more than that but I did make a decision that out of these four eyeshadows I'm only keeping static which I do feel really happy about. And the last two products I had were liners that I wanted to test out each three times and see if I wanted to keep them both or get rid of one. The first is the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Alkaline. So creamy. And the other one is the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade charmer and unfortunately I only wore these once so this one is charmer this one is the urban decay so 
No ColourPop is more purple, Urban Decay is more red. For now, I am going to keep them both. It's just hard for me to get rid of the Urban Decay because I did pay for it and it was very pricey. And it is a different color, so I am going to keep them both for now. And again, unfortunately, I did not use them as much as I wanted to. So not that successful of a month for usage, but I was able to move a lot of things out of my collection, which I do feel really proud of. So moving on to my products I'm gonna be focusing on for March. These are all spring makeup products as I'm very over winter and ready for spring. So I am gonna be using seven products, which is a lot, but again, there are several things in here that I'm on the fence, but whether I want to keep or not, so that is the purpose for me adding these things in. So I have got five eye products and two face products. For the face products, I have got a liquid bronzer. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunkissed, and I had gotten this off of a BoxyCharm Facebook group, and I do think that the girl probably had it for a while, so I do have a suspicion that this is a little bit older. I know they don't make this anymore, but I did just hear Lauren May Beauty say in a video that they are coming back out with it. So this is what it looks like. It is actually a little bit more neutral tone compared to a lot of other liquid bronzers, which is why I wanted to use it in the spring. But it feels like as I'm warming it up or like blending it out, it's looking a little bit more green. This is actually something I have not used yet, so I am nervous about it. So I would like to use this one five times and I'll let you guys know my update the method of application that I prefer. So I'm gonna say five times for the bronzer. Then I have a liquid blush. This is the Benefit Dandelion Dew. And this is something I was testing out last year and still couldn't decide whether I wanted to keep it or not. Well, here is what the Benefit Dandelion Dew blush looks like. It is a very like white based pink but it is slightly like a, a peachy pink, a warm undertone, which is very pretty. So I would like to use the blush three times. And again, I will let you know my method of application next update. So then for eyes, I have two Stila Glittering Glows. This first one was just sent to me by my friend Courtney K. This is in the shade Wanderlust. And this one is feeling like it's a little bit more on the sheer side or maybe it's drying out a little bit. I know that these tend to dry out pretty quickly. So right there is a swatch of Wanderlust, if you can see right here. And I would like to use that one three times. The other one I have would be the Stila Glitter and Glow in Sea Siren, which is so beautiful. And even though it's a glitter shade, it kind of feels more like a shimmer finish. And this one is a little bit more sheer, but it is so beautiful. It has such great duochrome. So here is that one right there. And I would like to use that one three times as well. Then I have a Maybelline Color Tap 2 in the shade Too Cool, which is a shimmery white. This is something I love as a base, and I did repurchase this a couple years ago, but unfortunately the one that I bought, the packaging is a little messed up, and even when you screw the lid on all the way, it's not even, so there was air getting in there, and it really has dried out, but I do still think I can make it work. This is something I love using under more pastel shades to really make them pop, but I do have a matte, white eye base in my collection and I want to compare it to the shimmer base because the matte one I'm keeping for sure. So I'm probably going to do one eye with the matte, one eye with the shimmer base to see if it really makes a difference and if I need to keep them both because this is pretty dried out. But I have used the color tattoos for a while now and I know that I can just mix them up and revive them pretty easily. So here is what that one looks like. It is rather pigmented and it is a really, really good base, but I haven't used it in a while and I just wanna make sure it's something that I feel the need to keep. The next product is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This one is in the shade Daddy. This is a pressed pigment finish and this is very crumbly. Even when I had purchased this last year from Ulta, it arrived broken. I, they sent me a replacement, that arrived broken, so I tried to mush it back together as best as I could, but something about the formula of this particular shade is just really, like, not good, which is weird because the first time I bought it when it originally released, it was really good. So here's what it looks like 
and it is really an intense shade that I do tend to wear on my lid with other purples in the crease. Here is what that looks like. It's a little deep for me. It is very dry, so we'll see what I think. I would like to use this one twice. I think I can make my decision in two uses. And then the last product I have is a liner. This is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Turquoise. This was actually something I had gotten as a free gift from Macy's, I believe. And this is a full size, but the packaging is a little jacked up, so it is hard to get all, like to twist it up and down. But let me show you this liner. It is so bright and very pigmented. The ColourPop Zulu shade is a little bit lighter and more minty, and this one is a little bit brighter. I absolutely love this. So I would like to wear this three times, and I would say compare it to Zulu, but I know that they're different enough for me to justify having them both, so I just want to wear that one three times. So here are all seven of the products I am going to be focusing on this next month. I'm so excited by the colors. So again, I'll just run through them and my goals. So I would like to use the Cover FX Liquid Bronzer five times, the Benefit Liquid Blush three times, the Stila Glitter and Glows three times, the Maybelline Color Tattoo three times, the Steel Liner three times, and then the ColourPop Super Shock just twice. So I am hoping I'll be able to declutter a few of these things out of my collection, and I do want to just get some good use out of the other things. So that was my second update, and I am liking the way I'm doing this project, but I'm mad at myself that I didn't at least use the items as much as I said I was going to, and I really think that's because I was just over my winter makeup and I was barely using any of my stuff anyway. Really for the past couple weeks I've been using my spring makeup because I've just been so over winter, so I am hoping that I do stick with it and I do reach all of my goals for this upcoming month. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.